I'm going to make this video short. This video is about organizing. You can do this in most things. I, I know um, Logic has it and for sure Ableton. I'm not sure on Fruity Loops, but I'm, I think most are putting it in there. Anyway, and it's called grouping, right? Where you group tracks together. So here's some texture that I created. Let me see if I can just um, solo that out for you. Okay, so there's the texture going on. And I used Harmony Bloom to, through uh, Granulator 3 with a sample that I have. And then I created that unique sound of my own, right? But I don't want to lose any parts of this because it contains all the MIDI that I use, the chords, the stuff, the how I did it. So I click on one, hit shift click on another, hit shift again and click on that. And then I group the track together and then I renamed it to texture because that's what this track is about is having texture right in the background. I did the same for my glitch track where I use cataract two and I put, here's my sample here. I'm not going to play it. You don't need to hear it. It's not the point of this video, but you can see I can group any tracks together. I did it for the drums. So I like my drums independent so that I can control them. So I do my kick, snare, and hat separate. Anytime I create a new drum, so like let's say I wanted to do this, I could just go duplicate, and it's still there, right? You know, you get rid of this here, rename this to, I'm just gonna put something in here, but I'm not gonna actually open hat, right? Boom, now I have another drum. Or if I did percussion, I would put it in with the drums and just save it. I'm gonna delete that because that's not part of the song, but you get my point. Grouping tracks is a simple way. And you can always ungroup the tracks too if you want later, if you decide, oh, no, I don't want that together. But it's kind of a good way to uh, keep everything more organized. Like for instance, if I go here, here, I probably would group these together, group the tracks, and then I would call this group keys. There you go. So now the melody and the um, chord is all in one. And then you can change the colors to any of this stuff. So let's say I want my keys to be, I don't know, orange. And I'll put the melody as orange. Of course, if you do that after you've already recorded, you gotta go through and do every, every one of them to, to change it, but, or go back at least do one and then copy them. But you get my point. You want to you wanna make sure, I'm going to put this one as orange too, so it's all collectively the same, that you group your tracks like that so that you keep an orderly uh, function here where you can know what you did later, all right? That's it for this video. It's really short. Just grouping tracks is a good way to keep yourself organized, all right?